the gospel of philip the world came about through a mistake for he who created it wanted to create it imperishable and immortal he fell short of attaining his desire for the world never was imperishable nor for that matter was he who made the world for the things are not perishable but sons are nothing will be able to receive imperishability if it does not first become a son but he who has not the ability to receive how much more will he be able to give so another translation reads the system began in transgression for he who made it had desire to make it imperishable and immortal he fell away and did not attain his ambition for there was no imperishability of the system and there was no imperishability of him who has made the system for there is no imperishability of things but rather of the sons no one can obtain imperishability except by becoming a son yet he who is able to receive how much more will he be able to give So in the manuscript of the Gospel of Philip, the word translated world is the Greek word cosmos. A cosmos is anything constituted or arranged by what the moderns call a constitution or by the force of circumstances as a kingdom, empire, state or what is called world each of these are our system of states as its course or aeon so that when the end of the course is arrived at the abolishment or destruction of that particular state cosmos rendered word in this phrase signifies that order of things constituted upon the basis of sin in the flesh and styled the kingdom of this world see revelation chapter 11 and verse 15 as opposed to the kingdom of god which is to be established upon the foundation of the word made flesh obedient unto death the world came about through a mistake of adam so the world came about through a mistake of Adam. It is important to understand that the world is not the earth. The world was created when the individual spirit of consciousness of man in Adam transgressed the command not by deceit as with Eve, which was the foundation of the world. And we know that the world is at hostility with god hence anyone who moves in opposition to the father's will is of the world for he adam by error who created it the world was created by the errant thoughts reasoning of adam wanted to create it imperishable and immortal so although his intentions were good he had not the understanding or wisdom needed to do this he fell short of attaining his desire the father himself falls short of nothing for he is perfect in all his ways so this is obviously mankind who fell short by transgressing the father's warning the lure of knowing they might become as gods was a bit too attractive to pass up by such a young man for the world never was imperishable 
the key word here is world as opposed to earth do not confuse the two nor for that matter was he who made the world again this cannot be the father but is rendered in genesis as elohim which can be an individual spirit consciousness in creation whether angel or man for things are not imperishable but sons are only that which is one with the father is imperishable and the body itself is this corruptible or this perishable which shall put on incorruption or imperishability nothing will be able to receive imperishability if it does not first become a son but he who has not the ability to receive life